Hi, my name is Romy Andrews, and today I'm going to share with you the tools I use uh, to lose more than 60 pounds through calorie deficit. And so the first thing I used was is, was a fitness tracker. Um, I personally like the Fitbit because I'm able to program all of my workouts in there, like which ones I'm going to do and, and select the workout that I'm doing for the day. And it tracks all my steps, my heart rate, uh, my sleeping and so forth. And it feeds it all into the, into the app. So I always have an idea of where I'm at. Very important information for me to have. Um, and I just love the Fitbit. But there are so many different um, fitness watches out there for you to choose from. So you just have to do your research and find one that best fits your particular needs. The second thing that I did was find a really good food tracking app because it's so important to make sure you track your food and your, your nutrition. And the, the app that I really love is my Fitness Pal. The reason I love my Fitness Pal is because you can go, it feed, first of all, it feeds into the Fitbit app. So all my nutrition gets tracked into that and then I know exactly how many calories I've consumed for the day versus how many calories I've burned. It keeps a running total throughout the day. And again, very important when you are trying to run on a calorie deficit to lose weight. Uh, also with, uh, with my fitness pal, you could, you could go ahead and scan foods in and the serving uh, portions. Uh, you, can, you can go to a restaurant and type in the food and know um, exactly how many calories you're eating. Also tracks macros and, mac and micronutrients, uh, which we can get into a little deeper in a future in a future video. The other very important tool is a food scale. I can't stress how important it is to weigh and measure everything you consume. Uh, I don't care how small it is; it's just so important to know exactly what you are putting in. Eyeballing won't cut it because if you're like me, you think that a serving size is like this, but it really is like this, and so you're going to overeat. It's just the natural thing that will happen. Um, so what I do is I look at what a serving size is. I know how many calories. Um, you know, I'll weigh it in grams or ounces, and uh, and that's what I'm going to consume, and I just track everything. Uh, very, very, very important to do that. Um, so I suggest that you invest in a food scale. The other thing you need is a regular scale to weigh yourself. As daunting as it is to weigh yourself, and it's, it's really difficult when you know you've put on some unwanted weight and you really just don't know, want to know where you are, that first time getting on that scale is, I can't even express the words of, regarding how it made me feel to know just how much weight I put on without even really realizing it. Uh, but that scale will become your best friend. It will always be honest with you. It will always let, track your progress. Your eyes can play tricks on you, uh, but the scale will always let you know where you're at. And I suggest getting a scale, weighing yourself once a week. Uh, to start with and then keeping track of that and then you know how you're progressing and you know you're able to adjust accordingly uh, based on what your goals are for your for your weight loss and above everything else you, you can have all these tools um, you need to have consistency it is so important to stay consistent with regards to your food tracking uh, weighing your food, making sure um, you're tracking every little thing and you're doing it every day, seven days a week, every meal, every snack. Uh, you, you really can't take a break from it. You can't do it Monday through Friday and then slack off on Saturday and Sunday, throw back a few beers and don't think that that won't count because those calories will count and they will be detrimental to you if you're not tracking them and knowing where you are. Um, so you have to stay accountable. You have to track these calories. Um, you can have you can have rewards and you can have your little cheats, but you still need to track those. So if you want to have, you know, a couple of cookies, make sure you get that that what the serving size is and scan it and stick to that. 
Um, so a couple things about, you know, you're probably saying, hey, Romeo, this is great, but how do I know, you know, what to eat based on what I'm going to be burning um, for calories? Well, there are a couple of ways you can do it. I, having done this for a while, I actually have a rough idea of how many calories I'm going to burn based on how much I exercise versus if, whether versus not exercising on a particular day. So I kind of know what I can consume on a regular basis. So I have a baseline um, set in my app and no, I can check throughout the day and know if I'm going to be able to eat more based on the amount of exercise or if I have to stick to that um, baseline number. So you can go ahead and, and see that and gain, get an average over a week or two and you'll have a better feel for it. Some people just like to take an average and have that um, run across your seven days um, per week. I'm not like that. I need to micromanage every little thing during my day. So that's why I do track every day and I base, I base my consumption based on the day's activities every day. Um, and you know, you may have some questions, well, well, what kind of food should I eat? Well, you should eat based on your, on your body type. Um, it's good to have a, a, a balanced diet and making sure you have something from the three different macros. So your protein, your, your good carbohydrates, um, meaning the complex ones. Don't consume a bunch of sugar and think that that's a great carbohydrate because it, it's not. And um, your healthy fats, so uh, meaning your you know, you have some of the olive oil to cook with. You probably don't want to be chowing down on a lot of bacon and considering that fat. Um, although there's nothing wrong with a little bit of bacon in moderation. Um, you just have to base it on your body type and what and what your needs are. Probably best to talk to a dietitian to figure all that out or a trainer who specializes in sports nutrition. But uh, that those are the things that I would recommend that you do. So for... Um, if you're going to look seriously consider doing a calorie deficit to lose weight the things i recommend getting yourself a little tracker watch finding a really good app for tracking your food your food scale your regular scale and making sure that you stay consistent and accountable and track everything that you're doing Again, uh, my name is Romy Andrews. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please go ahead and put a comment. Um, and uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. And if you want to learn more, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.